Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Next! Last time around, we went through the Perfume Palace and we managed to receive that Poke Flute that we, that we were looking for. And now it's time to head back to, to Route, Route, Route 7 and see, uh, and uh, see if we can get rid of that Snorlax. Uh, let's actually start off by using ourselves a uh, Repel. We got one of these. Uh, yeah, the like a like a hood of Pokemon appearing just decreased massively. Uh, I, s I thought I saw something in the grass there, and it's actually a trainer, a backpacker Jerome, and his uh, fletchling. And I'm kind of not confident with the uh, Veridi taking on a fletchling, especially when it's level 14. So I'm actually going to let Kizuna handle this one. Kitsune didn't get any screen time uh, in the last episode, so we're we're going to get let Kitsune do this. I don't even think uh, Kitsune got an got any uh, play time uh, the last the last two episodes. Well, whatever. Now it's time to flame charge. Okay, or we can just ember it. Emba, our stick. We're going to use our all-powerful stick to take out the thing, the fleshling. There we go. That's what it's called. The thing, the thing, the fleshling. Let's see. Oh, item, item. Yeah, it's, it's good thing going the, going through the this grass because uh, you can find all kinds of different items and there uh, various new Pokemon. Uh, that we haven't encountered yet. Or a trainer in the tutorials here. Think you defeat the man at the peak of his happiness? Think again. Well, the peak of his happiness. Oh, Tourist Takemi. Oh, a vol beat. Okay, a vol beat. Okay, interesting, interesting choice there. And I'm going to switch right out of there and uh, just going to Kituna just, just to make my life uh, easier for me. Come on, Akitsune! Double team! That is definitely not going to make my life easier. Come on, Kitsune! Do your... No! Not miss! No, not confused, Ray. Not confused, Ray! <laughs> of course. Of freaking course! Come on, Akitsune! Yeah, there we go! Emba! That's a lot better! Oh, not again! Not again! Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Hey, <laughs> this Volbeat is being a little bit of a pain in the butt, just... Just saying. Come on, this is getting silly! Oh so silly, Mr. Volbeat. Okay, this is just more than silly now. I know it's just two double teams, but come on, how many embers have I missed? There we go, thank you very much, the stick finally worked like it's supposed to. Thank you very much, oh that's a lot of experience, level 16, worry seed, uh, basically what worry seed does, a seed that causes worry is planted on target, it prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. So I guess if it could be good when a Pokemon have like uh, levitate and you want to use a ground to on it, ground to move in it, but I don't really think it's going to be really that beneficial for me. So I'm just not going to teach it. Yes, I want to keep old moves. A little feed like this, like this one, get me down. I'm on my honeymoon. Well, good for you, good for you, guy. On your honeymoon. Item, item, item. Paralyze heal. And I think this is just uh, one end of uh, Route 6. That there's one more to the left here. Oh, item, item, item. That's the uh, HM or TM. Venoshock! Yeah, this is just the, the uh, like right way of uh, this uh, route. So there's a whole nother... Wait! Okay. No, I can't go... God dang it. God dang it! 
I guess I have to go... I guess I have to go up here, maybe? Yeah, I see a little bit of a path there, so I need to... I need to... I need to go to the left, because I wanna... I wanna check out the, that path, too. Yeah, here we go. We just go down here because, you know, battles and items are always pretty... pretty nice to get. Oh. I think this is a double battle! Har har har! My Tai, I can see it in your face! I can feel it in the air around ya! You're a trainer who loves this Pokemon! Dee hee hee! Come join us for a Pokemon battle! I'm confident that you'll love a Pokemon even more after we're done! Okay, well, we'll see about that. Pokefan family! Jan and Erin! Okay. Oh, it's double. Double for through! A uh, one pink and one blue! I think. I think I know why that's it. The blue one is male and the pink one is female, of course, of course. Why wouldn't it be be that way? I see us this is attack. No! I actually heard a little bit. Stop attacking, really? You jerks! War on it! Wow, that did like nothing. Wow, that also did like nothing. Okay, uh Kitsuna, come out and kick some butt, uh, will you? Wow, that, that really did not that much damage to these four throws. Tail whip! No! How dare you whip your tail like Kitsuna and to Njord! Ah, oh, yeah, these, these four throws are definitely not being kind to me today. I definitely think the Ember will take it out. And, oh yeah, I think for Furthros, are there parry types? I think they actually are, and I don't really know what the uh, fairy types are, are weak against or super effective against. Gotta have to look that one up, it's Furthro, it's a fairy type. Eskitsune grows up to level 22. Fire Spin, don't really think so. It's not really that great of a move. I mean, the only time it's really been good was probably in the first generation, and remember that trading card with Charizard from like the first training card Charizard that appeared? I mean, that one, that was probably the best card in the game. It was like a hundred power with fire spin. It was just madness all over the place. I just want to see... How Saibin miss against that? A fourth throw. It's just nor it's just normal damage, okay? Thank you very much for using Tail Whip. Well, I had a lot more trouble with this battle than I than I would have thought going into it. And the male has like stars, and the female has like uh, it's, it's like hearts. Heart. <laughs> Gee, my Pokemon are getting a lot of levels from this. Now I'm head over heels for your fantastic Pokemon. Har har har! Good effort, my beloved Fortro. You're the best. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Oh, another trainer hidden in the grass. Let's start a secret battle in the tall grass. Yeah, but don't remember. Don't run in the tall grass. What are what is the beauty with grocery items doing in the tall grass? I don't know. It's poor. Pokemon we haven't yeah? Well, we haven't technically seen it in battle, but I think we've seen it in uh, in like a building, so let's just go for the Razor Leaf. I don't know what kind of typing it is. Okay. At least, I think it might be normal, or maybe fairy. Kind of an interesting thing is actually, uh, was uh, when I was looking up a little bit on uh, which Pokemon were fairy type, I saw that uh, Clefairy just can't change completely. It's not normal anymore. It's not even part normal. It's just fairy type, which would seem uh, pretty like obvious because you know it has fairy in its name. But whatever. We got a Butterfree here. Oh, good old Butterfree. Good old Butterfree. And take out the Butterfree. Not the, only, not the only thing we have to do now is encounter, like, a beauty fly. Oh, you're very strong. What a surprise. So then we can, uh, we've fought, like, all the different kinds of, uh, 
butterfly Pokemon, I guess. Let's see what's more. Is there anything here? No, it's not. Apparently. Oh, I see a trainer. I see a trainer and a wild encounter down here too. Well, that was not a big deal for Verida at all. Zoom, zoom, zoom! With my shorts on, I can run like the wind. Run like the wind. And I'm hungry like the wolf. Venipede! Oh. Venipede from the fifth generation by Poison type. Which means I drop my stylus. I don't know where it went! Jeez, I gotta go look. <laughs> well, that's a little bit embarrassing. And I, and I found it, I dropped it on the floor, of course. I thought I had it in my chair. Chair, it fell into my it fell in my chair, but uh, It fell on the floor, of course. As Kitsune grows up to level 23! My Pokemon are definitely getting some levels now. And a Scraggy, uh It's fighting dark type, so maybe it would have not been the best choice to stay in, but you know I'm 11 levels higher, so I don't think it's a big deal for uh, Kitsune at all. Even if it uses headbutt. Yeah, yeah, not not that big deal of all at all. Let's get rid of that smile on your face. You may have defeated me, but that's not going to stop me from running. Zoom! Running like the wolf. Or like Speedy Gonzalez, perhaps. And a wild encounter. I don't know why I was quiet there for for like a couple of seconds. I guess I completely forgot that I was that I was recording. Uh, let's see. I see a little bit of here and a trainer. I came all the way from you know over region to see Perfume Palace. So we got a trainer. Yeah, I thought a uh, like a backpacker coming all the way from Unova to fight with his Bumblebee, a non-Unovian Pokemon. Unovian isn't. Is that really a word? I don't know. If it isn't, I just made one up. There we go. One hit KO with Razor Leaf. Man, talk about culture shock. Yeah, with your non Unovian Pokemon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew there was a reason I went over here to find myself an Ultra Ball. That's pretty handy and dandy and whatnot, and I think we're pretty much done here on uh, Route uh, 6 now, so... Let's head back to Route 7 and uh, hopefully clear up the issues that we've had with that uh, Snorlax. But first, let me just go ahead and head back to town, Camp Rare Town, and heal up my Pokémon <gasps> real quickly! And with that, it's time to f head not over there. Wait. Could do some jumping over here? I saw it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's that's how you get this item over here. X attack. I didn't realize that until now. How didn't I realize it? Well, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm any. I'm maybe I'm a I'm an idiot, you know. So let's not head down there because I don't want to do some more field work. And hello, yeah. Snorlax still blocking your way, seems. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually, yeah, did you actually manage to borrow the Poké Float? Yes, I did. I wonder what would happen if I said no to that one. Thanks! Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when he wakes up. It might attack. If I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yes, I am! It's nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Still the same old tune. Snorlax, open its eyes wide. So now we're going to fire ourselves a Snorlax. Hey, they, they've got a lot of influences from uh, from uh, Generation 1. And uh, that Snorlax, eh, maybe, I'd, maybe I want to catch it just for, just for catching sake. 
Just depends on uh, what Snorlax will do to me and my Pokemon. That hurt a little bit, actually. And I'm not very happy about it. I wonder if it has rest. What? I mean, jeez, that Snorlax is doing a lot of damage to Viridi. And I'm not liking it. Wait. No! Okay, it's just a secret spare. I thought it was an attack. Ow! It licks me. That's... That's... That's not fun. Take that! Crickle it! No, Viridi! No! You took down my lovely Viridi! You're going to have to pay for this one, Snorlax! And even though I... Even though I won't use it, I, I, I will catch it just for uh, catching sake. You know, I will still get experience out of this one, so... You know... Oh! How dare you escape! Fence Carol! How dare it escape from the Ultra Ball that I just used! Get in the Ultra Ball, Snorlax! One? What is this? Go what is even going on anymore? Why don't you want to get into the ball, Snorlax? Stupid freak, Snorlax. I don't even have any great balls, so I have to use my Pokeballs to catch this thing. So, come on now. One, two, three, and we got it. We got it. We got the Snorlax. <laughs> and 405 experience points out of that. Pretty nice. It is not satisfying unless he eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When he's done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Yeah, that's good old Snorlax for you. And I, I used one back in Fire Red, and it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. I mean, it's slow, but it can take a lot of hits, and it can actually deal out quite a bit of damage. Grow off! Oh. The only thing I can do with that Poké Flute is put it on display. What like you've been playing since you were little, and the tune is l tone is lovely. Seems like my fourth row also likes the sound of that flute. Not as so much as it likes my beautiful, wonderful fire 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 fireworks, of course. Of course, just keep telling you that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing, s your playing sounded better back in the day. I like to take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Ah, how nice of him. And we don't get to. I wanted to give that Poké Float! Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All, all's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax is sleeping. Well, before we check that out, I'm going to go back to the Pokémon Center. He loved my Pokémon. Yet again. And we're now back on Revere Walk, or Route 7, as you may also call it. Oh, hey! Tierno! And... God damn it. Trevor said he wants to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us. I guess we can check out the uh, Pokemon Daycare. This is the Pokemon Daycare. They take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed! You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right! Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you can carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. And then the same Pokemon with the same moves might step my dance up or something. How about you, Lordy? Uh, I'll do it some other time. There are many Pokemon I want to race. I'll try it on on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm gonna go look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Hey, wait, Tierno, wait up. For once I remember the name of Tierno, but forgot the name of Trevor. Uh, but yeah, you can leave, you can leave, uh, leave two Pokemon in here, and uh, for every step you take, uh, the Pokemon will get one experience. So the more you travel, the more the Pokemon will, uh, will grow. And if you leave two Pokemon in the same egg group, they, w they will, uh, it will give you an egg. And from that egg, I think it's the female Pokemon from the one that you put in. That it will be, and then from the male one, there will be there will be some some moves that come from it. And there's there's only a f like 
only that way to get some uh, some moves. Like I, I remember back in fourth generation, uh, the only way to get an get a sneasel with ice punch was to I think leave in a smeargle as a male with ice punch, and then leave in a female sneasel, and then that way you could get a sneasel with ice punch. I think anyway that's how it was, and uh, I think that's. Well, let's talk to this guy. I'm the daycare man. We take care. Okay, this is the daycare man, and the wife is uh, in there. Oh, Tierno is in here. Hey, I want. I want to talk to you, and not into, run into a wild encounter. But I want to speak to Tierno. But it's running around. Oh, hey, Lordy, have you seen Don Sparse? No, I haven't actually seen a Don Sparse uh, yet. But there's some grass here you can go in and fight some Pokemon. There's some grass over here that you can go in and fight some Pokemon. Trevor is over here. What? Skating all over the place. I hate to, oh, I didn't think you were actually a trainer, but... Eh, let's fight this guy. And, and uh... Whoa, or female. Girl. Artist Georgia. That's a fancy looking Pokeball you got here. And of course, when we speak about Smeargle... Look who pops up. A Smeargle, level 16. Uh, let's fight that one with Veridi, actually. Oh no, Ember! You jerk! I didn't, I didn't anticipate that. Whoa! That did a lot of damage to Smeargle. And unfortunately, that Ember did uh, some damage to Veridi, too. But there we go, Smeargle has been defeated. And level 18? For Veridi. And excellent, thanks. It's been ages since I've worked up a good sweat like this from a Pokemon battle. What? No problem. Can I get your Pokemon Pokeball? I think it looked pretty fancy there. And I think we're going to end off on that view. Uh, we did uh, we did wake up that Snorlax. We explored the rest of Route 6 and uh, we, yeah, we got rid of that Snorlax, we got, we checked out the daycare center, and I think I'm going to be ending things up here, so next time in Pokemon X, we'll hopefully be exploring the rest of Route 7 and see what's past that. I hope you enjoyed it, I will see you guys next time, goodbye!